What kind of price increases or real-world consequences do British people face under Keir Starmer? Which energy bills could go up? What are the real world? Because net zero seems a bit abstract to some people. You know, it's quite a big macro policy that we're talking about. So what kind of individual price increases or consequences are there for British consumers? Okay, so electricity prices are where the, the, the pain is going to be felt. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, while we still have supplies of gas, um, then, you know, obviously it depends on um, gas prices set in, you know, international markets. Um, but uh, you know, assuming those stay the same, electricity prices are still going to go up. Um, electricity prices doubled between 2002 and 2020 on the eve of the Ukraine war. Um, uh, th that was a period over which gas prices broadly stayed uh, the same. They were, they were, you know, there were ups and there were downs, but the average level stayed about the same. Um, and that was because of more renewables. So, yeah, we can expect more of that. Electricity bills will go up. Um, but of course, it's every, you know, it's every other aspect of life as well, because energy bills feed through into into the cost of living as well. Um, and at the same time as that, you know, we can probably expect um, uh, uh, gas prices to go up too, simply because, um, you know, m m Mr. Starmer and Mr. Miliband seem to be going out of their way to drive um, the oil and gas industry away from our shores. Um, you know, it, it is getting to the stage, I think, where your big oil and gas companies are wondering whether it is really worth the bother anymore, you know. <laughs>